The Ugreen 140 watt charger was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. And typically these are gonna be used for your MacBook, your MacBook Airs and, and things like that that require a lot of wattage in order to power or to charge them. So to power and charge a MacBook, MacBook Air is gonna be between 60 and 90 watts. This is 140, so you're gonna be able to charge your MacBook and a phone at the same time. It actually has a USB-A port up at the top and then two USB-C ports down here at the bottom. One's gonna be 100 watt, one's gonna be 140 watt. They also give you a six foot braided cable. And what we're gonna do today is run a couple of tests just to see if this does actually boost the wattage that is coming from the, uh, from the adapter into the phone. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just hook up the USB-C to USB-C into a power strip and then into my phone. And we're gonna see what the, uh, the current is going into the phone measured by milliamps. Okay, so right now you can see that there is nothing being charged right now. It's just being, it's just discharging. When I plug in just the USB-C to USB-C, we're going to see that uh, my power strip is actually putting out 1,820 milliamps. It should be around 2,000. There it goes, 2,150, 2,390. That's really not too bad. Um, I would assume that it's because of the high, high speed uh, braided cable. Some of my other cables don't go much over 2,000. So now we're going to plug in the 140 watt adapter. All right, so what you can see here is that there was a bit of a boost, not a huge boost, but there was a boost in the milliamps that's going into the phone. Another thing that I want to show you is that when this is plugged in, this should be uh, considered a super fast charge. So we're going to go into my settings and we're going to take a look at that. So what we want to do is go into our battery and devices, check our battery, and our battery says 66% available, super fast charge connected. So, so just because you're charging your phone, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a super fast charge, a fast charge, or a regular charge. It's gonna be dependent upon the cable that you're using, the adapter that you're using, and the settings that you have on your phone. So I wanna show you, now that we're into the battery, I wanna show you how to check your settings to make sure that you are getting the very most out of your phone. Down here at the bottom, you go to your more battery settings, you click that, and you wanna make sure that you got fast charging, super fast charging, and wireless charging clicked on so that you are getting the maximum charge that you can from an adapter into your phone so that your phone charges faster than a norm, faster than just a, a typical charge. So now the charger, it is a big bulky charger. Uh, the plus of this is that you can fold in the plug, the prongs on it so that uh, they don't get caught on anything. It's going to fit in your backpack, your fanny pack, whatever you're carrying your, uh, your laptop in. And uh, the other good thing about this is that you're going to be able to charge multiple devices, including your MacBook, your MacBook Air, Mac but pros and uh, and then also your your phones or even a friend's phone with the USB-A port there. So uh, if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a fast charger, super fast charger, if you don't have one of these that are uh, more than 60 or 90 watts, then this one from Ugreen they put out great quality material. Definitely recommend them, and uh, I think that everybody needs to have something like this in with all of their other computer devices and phone chargers.